everyone it's tiny Tay, and I'm back today with some vlogmas shenanigans um, to get today's vlogmas started we're gonna start by cleaning my room and doing laundry um, because I just got back from my parents house like a week ago and I have delayed it um, so now it's more than time and plus I had to go get some quarters from the laundromat and I don't think I got enough which but anywho, we shall see. We are going to put in our load of laundry first and then start cleaning. And then, you know, keep double back and double back in um, until we get it done. And we are a air dry laundry family here. So it's really nice if I start a load, um, do something else. Basically, I have a break in between like the air drying and I can put the fan on some of them. Um, since it's winter now, the air drying outside is out the door. Kind of nice to have a break in between the spaces that I hang because the spaces are kind of limited. So let's head to the laundry room and so first we have to sort our clothes as my mom says and normally I don't because my loads are pretty small and the washer here can only take nothing over a medium sized load um, which is why if I have a huge like like bedding load I just go to the laundry max. It's just better time and money wise um so we're gonna separate them into little loads since i have a lot well not little but like medium because we don't waste water um but you know to get the show on the road because i'm probably gonna have to do like four loads which is like five dollars so let's go sort So we got our mm, miscellaneous, we'll call it, grays, darks, um, bright colors, or just colors in general, and then we got white. So as I suspected, we'd have a few different piles here, so let's get to it. Another thing I will be doing every day is my advent calendar. I got the Pop Funko Marvel version um, of the advent calendar and I'm so excited because I love Pop Funkos. I love miniature things um, and I'm just obsessed. Plus, last year the gingerbread uh, Marvel characters came out and I was only able to find Spider-Man despite them saying Iron Man was in stock, but I just could never find it at my Walmart. And then they never got the big versions of them. Like, they originally I was looking for the mini keychains of it. So I'm hoping that maybe Marvel and Disney threw a little lucky Iron Man gingerbread in there. Um, I actually did end up finding the big version of the Iron Man gingerbread. And obviously, if you can't tell, I'm a Marvel fan by my bond on it um but I did end up finding the big version of the Iron Man gingerbread but it'd be cool if I could get mini versions since I did look for it for weeks um and ended up just not being able to ever find it so let's finish up this cleaning Guys, well, since I'm cleaning up anyway and I have to put this stuff away, I'm going to show you guys some things I got in Wisconsin. Um, so, well, I didn't get all these things in Wisconsin, but, you know. Okay, first of all, I got my favorite pretzels, which are actually made in Michigan, but, you know, like, Great Lakes love Midwest support. So, these are Pop Daddy pretzels. They're super good. I got the dill pickle flavor. Um, I got this Tree Hut candy cane scrub, and I got this Kinlo um, sunscreen. If you follow me on TikTok, I'm sorry, this is a repeat. You're seeing these things twice. But I got this Ice Globe facial roller. 
Okay, why is it not? There we go. And it's actually made out of glass and it's super aesthetic. I got two of them from TJ Maxx. Then I got this crushed almond and mango, ah, good catch, exfoliating butter basically. And I got this Dr. Bronner's toothpaste. These I got at home actually. I don't know why I said Wisconsin, but you know, not at home as in like Minnesota, I bought these. Um, then I bought this Frenchie Lavender Spray, this Yule Log Native Deodorant, because I've been wanting to try their deodorant, but you guys know if you use natural deodorant, it takes like three weeks to freaking work. Um, and I didn't want to invest in the full thing because I still have two full other natural deodorants. Um, I also don't know what a Yule Log is, but it smells so good. Then I got this Candy Cane Body Scrub to go with my Candy Cane or not candy cane body scrub, sorry, candy cane um, body wash to go with my candy cane body scrub. Then I got this Lulu big fanny pack um, for when I'm at clinicals because having to carry everything with me, babe, those scrub pockets are not big enough. I don't, like, yes, I have four pockets on my pants, but no, it just doesn't hit. Only having two up here, and then sometimes I don't wear my jacket, which I leave my pen light on my jacket, like, I just... When I'm in a patient's room, I can't be freaking running all the way back like, hey, I forgot my pen light, sorry. Like, no. So I got this to put everything with me and to just carry it with me because um, I see other nurses wearing them. Well, not this specific one, but they have like medical fanny packs. But every time I ask, they're like, mm, I don't remember where I got it from. And I'm like, okay, fine. Just just tell me you don't want to tell me. That's fine. I got this large little one. Um, and then I got this chai syrup which I'm super excited about because now I can have chai lattes. Well, I guess I always could, but I don't like regular just like chai tea. Like, I don't know. It doesn't hit for me. This I already had. I'm not sure why I picked that up. But I got some new shoes again for clinical because I swear walking those hospital floors is somehow worse on your shoes than walking outside. Like, and I know the average shoe life is only like... 350 to 450 miles or something like that so yeah then I got this straw to take with me um because I do have a glass straw but the thing is I can't like that it's not completely um, then my mom got me this white chocolate tea because she's so sweet it's white chocolate peppermint then I got this for my AirPods, um, because if you follow me on Instagram, you know I had a hand sanitizer spill on my bag, so unfortunately my AirPod case that is real leather got ruined a little bit, so I'm just going to get in the habit of changing it just in case accidents happen. Then I got this for eight freaking dollars from Box Lunch, and they're really nice. Like, these are so sturdy. They're not like flimsy plastic. Same with this. So, I don't know, I guess I'll have to do another... Disney trip and then I just got these pants from Lulu that are cream colored with like striations on them super cute and that's all for my mini haul here back to cleaning <laughs> Hi guys, um, we just left the gym. I'm wearing my AirPods. I don't even know if you can actually hear me. Um, we're gonna do my nails when we get back home. But the workout was fine. It wasn't horrible. I just was like, meh. I did abs and arms, so I want to show you guys a little bit of it because I hate recording at the gym and the space where I do my stuff at because I don't like going by all the machines free weights like I take my weights back over to the area where basically you can do like steaming exercises and stuff um because I did not like being out there. I just the anxiety the people I don't know it's too much I really limit myself well not really I don't limit myself because if I want to do something new or I want to try a new machine I come early because I don't want people to be there I don't want them to see me and today I saw somebody I know which even more so made me want to stay in the corner because I'm not a hardcore workout girly like I don't I come to just do a little, little five pound vibe and do a little run, ab, stretch, and get out. Like, I don't, I'm not, I don't know how to do bar. I don't want to do bar, actually. Like, I just want to come get in, do my thing, and get out, right? So anyway, I was doing my thing. Um, when I first got to the gym, I realized that I did not have, 
an Apple Music subscription because I've been going through it, okay? It's been a long, like, month and a half-ish. So I'm going through it. But I'm like, whatever, I'm here. It's dark out, I don't like coming out the house when it's dark, honestly. So I'm like, I'm not gonna leave and come back, I'm doing it right now. So I just put on my, my shuffle, my like 2012, like when you had to still buy music singularly or buy an album shuffle. So as you can imagine, I'm listening to One Time by Justin Bieber. I'm listening to um, like Lace Up by MGK, like that whole album. I'm listening to Nothing Was The Same. Like that's the era that I'm in right now in the gym. Then this song from when me and my mom used to share an account from when I was too young to have my own came on called I Wish You Were Here by Jamie Foxx and my grandma just died. Why would Apple Music do that? Why would they do that? So I'm like, am I about to cry in the gym? No. I'm going to go on the hydro massage and cry. You know why? Because the hydro massage is really the only reason I come to the gym. It is, it's the thing that keeps me going at the end of the day. One time, I did my workout and the hydro massage was broke. I nearly dropped a tear. But this, this is a different kind of hurt, you know? And then she's like, oh, they're both taken. I wouldn't go cry in the locker room. Wouldn't my day. So now let's go about our day. We got the cry out. I look you could cry again, but it's okay. I'm going to hold it in for the sake of this video. Um, And we're about to go to TJ Maxx. It's not going to make me feel better. It's not. But one, I need to see if they have Glossier. Glossier. I don't know how to say it. But I want to try it. I don't want to pay $12 for it. Lip chat. I feel like I'm getting really aggressive. Sorry, guys. Um, but I want to see if they have it there. Okay, guys. I took a little time to recoup. I'm feeling a smidge better. Um, we're at the Dollar Tree now because I remember what I needed to get. It was wrapping paper. Um, and I only need to get wrapping paper for St. Nick gifts. And normally I would not wrap the St. Nick gifts, but we're doing them a few days apart. And I don't want any peekers. Um, because I never peek and I think not peeking just adds more fun to it. So let's pick out wrapping paper together. Okay, this is the first option because you guys know I love my Disney girls. Love them very much. This is the second option because I really love this red and brown theme. It's just very neutral and casual. Um, let's see what else we got in here. Okay, I love a blue Santa, but I did something like that last year, so... Okay, I love gingerbreads, but the person I'm doing it with does not... Um, honestly, we got a large variety in here. Oh, the deer. I do not like this one, but this is perfect for them. So I'm going to get it and we're going to wrap up some presents later. Um, I don't know how your guys' Dollar Tree normally looks, but <laughs> this is pretty regular for mine, which is fine because they usually do not have a lot of help here so i take it for what it is um and i just come back if i'm looking for something specific because normally it takes them the time to get things out we even get in the nails we're gonna open up our advent calendar because it's all i've been thinking about i am so excited um i literally just wiped all of my nail stuff off of this little baby table that i use for everything um actually this is a stool i don't know why i just called it a baby table but yeah um, so we're going to get into this, but as most of you guys know, I do create on multiple platforms. So with that being said, you guys are going to watch me film the TikToks for these every day because as a content creator, one, you cannot waste, I don't want to say waste, but if you can repurpose content, you always want to be repurposing content. This singular mint right here, um, I need to throw away, but I don't have a trash in my trash can because I just took the trash out. So we're just going to leave it there. Don't pay attention to it. Um, so you always just want to be repurposing content and making the most of everything that you have. Um, so that is why you guys are going to be watching me film it on TikTok. Um, and they will see it first. So if you guys want to see it first, head over to my TikTok. 
follow me over there um, because TikTok obviously is self-editing. I can just click, do one take, and have it done um, versus this, which requires me to edit on a completely different, completely different platform um, and combine multiple days of content into one. So yeah, if you want to see first or if you want to be surprised, um, just hang out here with me, but my TikTok's always there. Hi guys, it's Taylor and obviously it's the first day of December. Hi guys, I'm back. It is unfortunately day two of this laundry and room clean situation um, because I have homework and other things to attend to. Um, but we're gonna get this all nipped in the bud today, get it cleaned up very nicely, then we're gonna do my nails. Um, I've decided I'm going to rope day one and two of Vlogmas together. Um, it kind of just works better since the content that I have is a little choppy right now because it took two days to do this and then I did um, a little bit of shopping the other day. So it kind of just works together. Okay, I'm sorry this is so zoomed in, but unfortunately my other phone died. So we have to do it this way. I could do it on the camera, but I didn't charge the camera because I plan on using my phone. So I just filmed this whole thing about how I dipped this and how I messed it up and how I'm going to fix it. Um, and basically it doesn't even matter now because it didn't get recorded. So I'm going to do another one. And hopefully I'll do it right this time. Um, the tip that I had was just be sure to really coat the full nail and get an even dip in there. Um, when you do it and try not to get down the skin because basically I accidentally thought a piece of my skin was just like a powdered acrylic chunk and turned out to be a chunk of my skin which is fine because it was just in the cuticle so obviously they replenish very quickly but still um I also talked about how sometimes when I get it a little bit too caked up in the corner I'll just like, tap it um with this cuticle pusher on the side so then it like breaks it apart so it knows like hey don't mess up but this is a super even dip oh you can't even see I should have charged the camera but I'm such a rookie um that was a pretty even dip I'm very pleased with it a lot better than the first one I wanted to show you guys so sometimes it's good to mess up but still would have been nice if I could have done that one correctly anyway so then I usually just do a little tap like this and then I wait till I think it's completely dry which is usually like 30 seconds to a minute because I get very nervous because if you like fluff it off before it's time it messes it up and it's like you can start over but you can't really start over I use this elf um total face brush which I know you're not supposed to do but so yeah um also the thing that could make this perfect would be if I had a nail drill which my mom does have but unfortunately she's not here to let me borrow it right now so that really sucks but I promise these will turn out good. I'm going to do a few more and I'll come back to you guys. I usually only do about three coats, four if it's looking either real bad or real good. But three is usually like just what I do for a really good like covered nail. Um, and that still looks appropriate. It's not too thick. You know, like that looks good. So I'll be back. Okay, guys, it just took me like an hour to do these because I actually wanted them to be done nicely. And I'm very happy with how they turned out. But honestly, it's looking very good. The left side's going to go much faster because I'm horrible at it and my mistakes just take over. That doesn't mean it won't be good. That just means it's going to be a little faster. Um, but yeah, I've spent a lot of time on, on these. It's probably the best that they have looked. I'm very, very happy with them. I did not finish them yet. Um, they still need the top coat. This is just dip. Um, and that's literally it. Which I could leave them like this. But I won't. But yeah, beautiful. I'm very happy with them. Okay, guys. I have finished. I did not put the top coat on them yet. They look very good. I'm very pleased with them. But honestly, it took an incredibly long time. And I am tired like I'm dead 
Um, so I'm going to put the top coat on them and then I'll be back and show you guys what that looks like. Okay, so this is our finished product. I'm okay. I think they look good. I'm not salty. <laughs> I mean, I'm normally not salty, but like sometimes when I put the top coat on it, I end up not liking them, but I'm very happy with these. That's it for that. Hi guys, we're back to open up day two of the advent calendar. I got my TikTok set up right here. You guys kind of know the deal at this point. Let's do it. Hi guys, it's Taylor and it's day two of our Marvel advent calendar. I guess before I look um, at the bag because obviously you can kind of see the bag. So I'm gonna guess that it is Hulk. It's not. <gasps> with our gingerbread iron man i love him on today's docket we got the gym i gotta get in a good little bar workout i think that's how you say it and then we're going to aldi to look for that sherpa um thing that goes in the middle of the put a video of it here um if you guys didn't know because this is gonna be a reoccurrent theme i just like lately i can feel it coming back again last year i had really low vitamin d and it affected my memory um my mood my school basically my life like it was very scary um and i did i like i obviously as a nursing student as someone who's gonna be taking care of people in this world I know what vitamin deficiencies do to you, but I cannot recognize in myself that I had a vitamin deficiency, so it was really almost like too late by the time that I caught it. And it's not that like permanent damage has been done, um, but my memory is just not what it used to. Like the brain fog is, is, it's lingering, it's better, but it's definitely lingering and I know I have a lot of memory lapses um, and I obviously edit out a lot of those. Um, so that you guys don't really get to see, but this is Vlogmas and we don't lie to the vlog. So there's going to be a lot of times where I just can't get the words out. Um, a lot of the time it takes me a really long time to get there, but I edit those portions out. But if you hear me say, um, that's usually the start of me trying to like get some neurons to fire up there. So yeah, basically I'll just put the video up here because still I cannot remember the name of it. Um, and that's okay. So take care of yourself, besties. I love you all so much. Please do so. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go to Aldi look for that. And I really need to get some more glasses cleaner because I left my spray glasses cleaner in Wisconsin. I do have another like spray one, but I have no idea where it went. Um, and so now I have none. And I tried to use one of those really gross wet wipes, which I absolutely hate, but it was dry so that's really the how the day is starting but it's okay because right after that we got gingerbread iron man so it all worked out but i'm gonna go get myself together and i will see you guys in a little bit there's basically no one in here there's two people right there that's literally it there are very few people over there and that makes me so happy i love when the gym is empty because my nerves are just calmer <laughs> Okay, guys, I decided to take a little detour before Aldi to stop at Bed Bath & Beyond um, and another store. Okay, guys, I found this really expensive brand sunglasses at Sierra. Um, Coast is a very good brand, plus they're polarized, and I've been looking for another pair of glasses that are polarized and also good um, to take with me when I go other places because, oh my god, there's a guy in the mirror, and oh my god, you can't see him, but he's staring at me hardcore. <laughs> this side, I like to vlog in public, but you know, it's whatever. Um, when I go, because last time I went to Wisconsin, I thought I lost my really expensive glasses and I was like about to have a meltdown. And it turns out I just left them at home. So anyway, I was like, okay, maybe these will be cute on me. No, it's giving X-Men. It's giving, I carve wood on Wednesday. It's like, <laughs> I hate it. But they're $20, it's a super good deal. Um, unfortunately they are staying here though. Okay, guys, 
So we're not gonna go to the other stores because I got some gift inspiration and found some really good gifts. Um, so we're gonna go to Aldi because I went a little over the budget, but that's okay. I'm very happy with what I got and my, the people that I give these gifts to will be so excited and I love the Christmas season. And it was from Sierra, so it's like I didn't even pay as much as I normally would have for these items. So, chef's kiss. See you at Aldi. Okay, so I'm here looking for the ottoman. Oh my god, finally. <laughs> like an hour later, it's come to me. But unfortunately, I don't think she's here. Which is sad. But that's okay, I'll keep an eye out for her in the future and when I go to other Aldi's. But it would have been really nice to find it because she was so cute. Okay, Aldi did not have what we needed. But that's okay, we got a little treat to try at home and now we go to the mailbox to pick up some fun goodies. Okay guys, so this was the treat I got from Aldi. These chocolate truffles, they're luxurious, luxurious European truffles. <laughs> um, I'm probably just gonna have one because I do need to eat lunch. Well, I eat lunch before the gym, but I need to eat another lunch after the gym. Um, so let's look and see. These are all the different options that you can get. And I think I'm going to try toffee. Pretty. Okay, that's what it looks like. They all smell very yummy. Wow. That was 10 out of 10 delicious. Very good. In Germany, you did your thing with that toffee one. It had a toffee filling on the inside. The chocolate was very smooth that toffee coating on the outside chef's kiss not the kind of toffee that gets sucked in your teeth but just like a toffee churro sugar like it was very very good leave those chocolates and try another one another day um but we're gonna go and drink our coffee um and enjoy some lunch rest a little bit i have to edit so i probably won't really show you guys that part but i'll be back for you in a little bit